Hey, good morning. Good morning to you. How you doing? Are you blessed? Are you healed? Are you free? Are you saved? Ooh, my dear brothers and sisters <laughs> in Christ, I know you're saved out there. Hallelujah. And I'm glad to hear it. Yes. Uh, we're talking to those of you who uh, have already given their heart to Jesus Christ, and then uh, yeah. that would qualify you as being saved. That's but right. listen, there might be there might be Dan and I are always looking for the one. That's right, the one. And uh, there might be one of you. Hey, if there's hey, ten maybe of you, there's five. Hmm, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. I don't. <laughs> that makes no difference to That's me. Right. But there might be one of you out there that you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Yes. And if that's the case, then my friend, you're not saved, right. and you need to turn that thing around. All right, and uh, Deanna and I are going to walk you through it. It's so easy, but uh, you got to get rid of your doubts. You got to get rid of all your unbelief. And uh, and anybody who's ever told you that there is no God, just say, you know what? They don't know what they're talking That's about. That's right. There is a God. Amen. A living and, God. Yes. A true God. True God. A big God. Amen. <laughs> and He loves you. That's right. And He wants to have a relationship with you. That's a lot. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. He wants to have a relationship yes. with you, but it's just going to start with you, all right? right? you got to yeah. start believing. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> right there. you got to believe it in your heart that, yeah. that Jesus died on the cross for you. You need to believe in your heart that, that, uh, that he rose from the dead on the third day so that you could have eternal life with him in heaven. And I'm telling you, I'm going to walk you through a prayer. And uh, if you're ready, say, I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I thought you was already saved. I am saved. But, <laughs> hey, I can say it again. Hey, Amen. Listen, and I'm going to walk you through a simple prayer. And uh, if you're ready for it, and then, then repeat after me. Father right. God. Father God. My life is a mess. My life is a mess. I need a Savior. I need a Savior. I need Jesus. I need a J to come, Jesus. To come into my heart. To come into my heart. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. For this opportunity. For this opportunity. I believe in my heart. I believe in my heart. Jesus died for me. That Jesus died for me. I believe in my heart. I believe in my heart. That he rose from the dead. That he rose from the dead. On the third day. On the third day. So that I could have eternal life. So that I could have eternal life. With him. With him. In heaven. In heaven. I thank you now. I thank you now. For receiving me just as I am. For receiving me just the way I am. I receive you now. I receive you now. Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Listen. That's right. You receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Your life will never be the same. That's right. It He's going to change you from the inside, inside out. out. Everything that everything that the world has told you about yourself, God sees a different thing. That's right. All right. God doesn't look at you like the world does. That's right. But now he's, he's looking at you as a what? A new creation. That's right. Yes. And uh, amen. And he has yes. a plan, and his plan is perfect for That's you. That's right. But you have to let him in. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's so good. So listen, if you are ready to do that, then, then just receive it. Receive it. All yes. right. And uh, so thankful to hear that. If you're looking for a church, maybe. Listen, Res Life Church, St. Louis, Michigan. That's where we're from. Amen. That's where we, we love go. this church. I'm telling you. Yes. And um, uh, our pastor, Pastor Rick Lopez, and his wife Diane, those people, the, everybody in that church is going to love us. That's right. They're going to show you the love of God. Yes. They're going to show you the what it means that uh, the presence of God. That's right. Amen. Amen. When you walk in that place, it's tangible. That's right. And uh, listen, your search for a church. It's going to be over. And if you did get saved, oh, man. you give us a call. The number is going to be at the bottom of the screen. You give us a call and you let Pastor Rick and Pastor Diane know. Let them know, hey, I got saved on 714. Then after that, we want to see you. We want you to come and visit. Come visit us. Listen, part of part of God's yes. plan for your life is for you not to be alone. That's right. Uh, and uh, and to be broken. That's right. God has a plan for you. That's right. But you have to come to church. That's right. All right. And get around like-minded people. That's right. And uh, I'm telling you, Res Life Church, I'm telling you, man, your life's going to turn That's around. That's right. It will. Guaranteed. Amen. Amen. Uh, you're probably wondering what the 714 really is all about. Yeah. Well, uh, it comes out of Second Chronicles 714. And this is a word from the Lord. All right, for each and every one of us, and this is one I, I, I swear we should get this one on the on the inside of us. All right, not just memorize it, but know it. Yeah. All right, and uh, God says it like this: If my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, and I will heal their land. Amen. I will. Forgive their yes. sins as well. 
listen, this this particular scripture right here, uh, this is how I like to say it. If, if uh, we will do our part. God will do his. Yeah. That's right. He will do his That's thing. Right. But for we got to first start with uh, prayer That's and right. seeking. Yes. And I, I use the word repent, turn from your wicked ways. Yes. And uh, let God be God. That's right. Let him be God. Let him be your God. Amen. Amen. He's a big God. He's an awesome God. He loves you. Let him change you. That's from the right. Let him out. change you. Let us live your life for him. Amen. Yes. Amen and amen. We are reading through the Bible. Yes, we are. In a year. In a year, I'm telling you, it's it's, it's not it's as difficult. So yeah, it's not as difficult as you no, might it's think. Not. There's a lot of reading in it, but I'm telling you, uh, it's a, there's a lot of understanding. That's right. All right. Yes. And, and uh, so, how are we how are we gonna uh, build a relationship with God? Not just prayer and seeking, but we're gonna also read His Word. That's right. So we get to know Him better. You know, I I just want to say this that um, that's how you the, like Steve just said. That's how you're gonna get to know Jesus, our yes. Lord. Amen. is by reading the word and in prayer. Yes. I remember this, I remember uh, uh, a pastor asked another man of God, say, hey, how's your prayer life doing? He said, well, I've been so busy because I'm reading my word, but I've been so busy right. that I haven't prayed. Oh. Right. And the, the, the other man of God said to the other, to the man of God said, look, if you don't change that, you're going to end up on the shelf. Yeah, so listen, what guys, what she's saying here is... Yes, build, we need we need to build that, yes. Yes, build that, that relationship. Yes, yes. And uh, that's, you know, listen, you, you know what a relationship is, right? It's, it's two ways. That's right. It's not just one way. That's right. And so that's where we have to start. And uh, if you're just joining us now, we're doing uh, today's reading. Yes. It's First Samuel. Oh... Uh, Chapter 3, Chapter 4, and Chapter 5, in Psalms 9. Right. And I'm telling you, you might think, well, that's a lot of reading. That's only four chapters. You can do that. only four chapters. <laughs> that's only four chapters but today, yeah. You're being a baby. That's right. You can do this. <laughs> if we can do it, you can do it. Amen. <laughs> and then, when we're done, in a year, you've read this whole big book. Then we can start all over again. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because we're going to do it again next that's year. That's right. Amen. <laughs> Right, gonna, uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna read uh, I'm gonna read a little bit out of First Samuel, uh, chapter three, verse three okay. through nine. All right. So the lamp of God had not gone out, and Samuel was Samuel was lying down in his house in the house of the Lord, where the ark of God was. Then the Lord called Samuel. <laughs> All right. Samuel answered, "I'm here," and and he ran to Eli and and said, "Here I am. You called me." And, but Eli said, I did not call you. Go back and lie down. So he went back and lay down. Again, the Lord called Samuel. <laughs> and Samuel got up and he went to Eli and said, Here I am. You called me? My son Eli said, I did not call you. Go back and lie down. Now Samuel did not know the Lord. All right. And the word of the, and the, word of the Lord had not yet been revealed to him. How do you know that? you got to have the word of the Lord revealed to you. And uh, that's kind of what we're doing right now. And the third time the Lord called Samuel. And Samuel got up and went to Eli and said, Here I am, you called me. And Eli realized that the Lord was calling the boy. So Eli told Samuel, Go lie down, and if he calls you, say, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. So Samuel went and lay down in his place. Yeah, that's so awesome. We're trying to, today's title today is learning to, to hear the voice of the Lord. Lord. Yeah. The voice of God, that's yeah. right. Yeah. And that's what we need to do. We need to, not only do we need to learn as as adults, but we also need to teach our children yeah. to hear and learn the voice, or to learn and to learn to hear the voice of God. Right. That's right. As parents, we must help them. We must help our children even at a young age, start very young to do it. Absolutely. The minute that they can start speaking words, start, you know, start. I remember when our children were babies, I spoke the word of God over them all the time. I spoke oh, yes. the word. I said, hey, Jesus loves you. Uh, or I, I read a little something to them so they would know. And, to, and today they are adults and um, parents themselves. And you know what? They're doing the same thing. They're doing their kids. the same thing to their children. That's right. Teaching them. Yes. 
to hear God's voice. That's right, yes. To have a relationship with God. With God, that's right. And see, at this time, right. Samuel had not yet had a relationship with God, so therefore he did not know the voice yeah. of the Lord. That's right. And if, uh, listen, as, as far as parents go, listen, that is our, that is our, uh, that's our duty, our responsibility. Duty. Yes. That's right. We must encourage our children, uh, and not only encourage them, but they, they'll build trust with their children and they will, they will become obedient Amen. to them and to Father God. Amen. That's good. That's honey. right. Yes. Amen. They'll become obedient. Encourage, teach hear his voice to praise him and yes. to love our god with all with all their whole life that is our that's our uh, duty right that's right it's our duty that's our responsibility yes. i like it yes and they they'll become spiritually they'll become confident and then they will become mature in their faith that's right and i'm just going to read this one scripture real quick before Amen. we close Amen. and it's uh john 10 27 and it's, it says this my sheep Hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. You want your children to know Christ and follow Him? Amen. And teach them to hear His voice. Ooh, hallelujah. Listen, our kids That's are right. going to respond to something. That's right. If it's, if it's not responding to the to the, the Word of God, they're responding to something possibly That's right. uh, the complete opposite. That's right. The world. Right. What the world so, has to offer. What, That's right. But when we encourage them yes. to... Uh, seek after God, yes. when we encourage them to yes. praise Him, when they encourage them to yes. follow after God, yes. follow after God, listen, that's that's the only voice that they're going to hear. That's right. And that's, that's good to scene. me, that's, yes. they're developing something. That's right. Their spiritual confidence. Yes. Amen. Right on. And they will become what? Yes. Mature. Very mature. In their faith. That's right. So Father God, in the name of Thank Jesus, you, listen, Jesus. our prayer is this. Yes. My prayer is that each person listening today, that they believe it and they receive it. Father God, that they will seek after you and they yes. will take uh, take this lesson and begin yes. hey, to teach their children yes. mm, the way that they should go so that when and they grow they old, they will never depart, they will never depart and, from it. And if there's adults too, come on, Father God, that yes. teach them to hear your voice. Yes. Help them to hear your voice. Yes. Help us all, God, to, That's right. to, 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 to draw closer to you, to yes, hear God. your voice. In the and when you call us, we respond, yes, Lord. Yes, Amen. Here am I. Here, yes. <laughs> and Father yes, God, yes. and each person listening today, we call you blessed yes. in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, yes. Amen. And we love you. Yes, we do. And uh, we we'll will see, see you, you tomorrow, tomorrow morning. morning. Peace. Peace.